Hey people, I'm Marina Lambert. Here's an exclusive look at my secret hideout. So this is my secret hideout. It's at my management office, Shopkeeper Management in Nashville, and it's where I come hang and ride. There's a bar over there that you can't see, it's really cool. Um, but this is just this really cool area that's like for creating and for brainstorming and writing songs and um, we also keep a lot of like memorabilia down here as you can see. Um, so I'll point out a few things. This really cool neon, it lights up, I don't know if the batteries are dead probably because it was months ago, but it was uh, the intro for the ACM Awards last year when L King and I opened the ACM Awards from a convertible. It's very fun. And this is from the Fastest Girl in Town days, which is like 2010-ish, I think. And it was one of my most favorite pieces I've probably ever worn. Not so easy to sing in, I will say, because like all the cinching. But um, the blondes from New York made that. So it's definitely one of those like staple wardrobe moments I can remember in my career. So this space, we have written a lot of songs here. I um, actually wrote a song with Parker McCollum not long ago down here, and I've written here with Luke Combs and um, by myself, and you know, sometimes my manager and I were very close, been together for 17 years, so we can come down here and have a drink and like brainstorm and make it not feel like we're in an office building. It's very, very zen and cozy, and just feels like a place, a space for you to create whatever that is, whether it's an idea or a song. And, and somewhere to sort of document all the work we've, we've done together. You know, there's a lot a lot of uh, years under our belts and a lot of hard work, so this is kind of a place where we can celebrate them. This plaque was the plaque for my very first number one song, White Liar, and like, that was a huge moment. It just took, it took three albums to get there, so that's probably why it's so big, <laughs> because we were really excited about it, but um, it definitely stands out, and I just think it's really cool, and more like a piece of art than like a, plaque with your face on it. This plaque's also special to me because I started a band called the Pistol Annies um, 11 years ago with my two best friends slash sisters, Ashley Monroe and Angelina Presley, and um, we convinced Marion to manage us and help us put out a record, and it's been one of the most heartfelt, like, passion projects I've ever been a part of because I get to make music with my best two friends, and um, so anytime that we get to commemorate something, this is for Hell on Heels being the number one country album and we put it out on our own so it's just very it's very special to us to like you know we lift up women this is what we do Marion and I and and all of the women in this building we, we try to support each other so that's exactly what this plaque represents all right so this is the wardrobe archive this is where all the history lives in this room come on in Everything back here in this room is um, stuff that I've worn in photo shoots, music videos, um, album covers, award shows, red carpets, um, like I said, dating back to like 2008. So it's pretty crazy that we have been able to keep up with it all and like it's funny to look through when I come in here and I look through stuff, it's like it brings back so many memories of so many moments in my career and um, I don't know, it's really cool to have and like and I just keep thinking like, we just keep adding and it keeps getting cooler. So I'm like, I can't wait to see what this room looks like in the next decade. This one is the one I wore on the cover of For the Record. And um, what's fun about this one is that I was wearing this like really badass hot dress and I got to light a car on fire for my album cover, <laughs> which was really, really fun. We've started to do these amazing jumpsuits that I've gotten to wear and I'm obsessed with them. I have much more um, this vibe than dress vibe usually so it makes me happy and I've named them. So my new record's called Palomino and so there's obviously Palominos on there. Um, this one we called her Katie with a K. This one I just wore the Billboard Awards to sing drunk with El King and her name is Chasing That Neon Rainbow. To me, you can never have too much fringe and rhinestones. 